last 10 years, we have tested every series in NASCAR. For the most part, it's fair to say that every team on the track has been through Paradigm and Tunnel at some point. Hey, can you break down the top tender? Over the course of the last several years, this thing has actually turned out to be a really good tool that a lot of teams use, and it's real good for us to be able to find our small tune adjustments before we take our cars to the track. Left rear come down. As long as Freddie knows when he gets back, then it, the closer we can get it to the race setup, the better off it'll be. The less offsets, the less stuff we'll have to adjust. Mm -hmm. Well, what they provide for us is consistency. All right, let me know when I take it to starting point. All right. The tunnel is calibrated the same. We'll know that when we bring a car, the changes that we made are actually changes. The tunnel's not changing. Do you think we're going to be able to get as much out of the Speedway car as we need to? Mm -hmm. As with any precision laboratory, we are heavily, heavily instrumented. The reason these walls are curved are when you put a car in the test section, it's like throwing a rock into a small stream of water. The water has to go around the rock. The same thing happens in a window. When you put a car in the test section, the wind now has to go around the car. These teams use smoke to get an overall sense of how the air is moving around the car. You can see that as the smoke comes off of the rear glass, you can see the smoke recirculate and even turn sideways. It is just interesting to see how, as this car has developed, what they're doing with the air off the back of the car. The adjustments are so much more fine now. It's like a lot more like an H-Y car or a front. Right now, we're still in our infancy on our data that we're getting because of the fact we haven't had that track data with other cars that we're running against. But what we do have is the history of our other cars that we're preparing against. Do you want to seal the window up the top first and then move it out, or you think we can move it out with spacers? Basically, uh, NASCAR's got us in a real tight area, so there's not too many changes we can make, but they do have uh, some parameters that we can play with here or there. The closer we get these cars to the ground, the better they're going to handle. It's really good low. Once you get the car down, it gets real good. Yeah. Now it's popped up a lot. Because there's a lot of development that goes into these cars. There's a lot of excitement that goes into it, too, because before the cars have been a little bit generic. Now they've got their own special touch. In the past 10 years, I have seen the intensity of the teams go higher and higher and higher. These teams come in here and they spend 9 to 12 hours at a time trying to find one horsepower. 